Hey, and welcome back to Bookmas. Today, I am going to be doing an overview of my 2023 reading journal. And this is gonna help me kind of decide what I actually kept up with and what I didn't so that I know um, for my 2024 reading journal, which I will be setting up at the end of the month. So let's get started. So obviously we have my name page here and the title page. And then we had my goals trackers. So this was just a list of goals. And then this was books that I drew to represent the 100 books I wanted to read with my Goodreads goal. And then I filled them in with star ratings. This is something I will probably change next year because the highlighting them, like finding the colors and doing it just, I didn't enjoy. So I do want to keep a little like book shelf but i'm not sure how i'm going to do it next year it may just be filling in the titles especially because my goal next year is a lot smaller then we have my anticipated releases i just wrote them at the bottoms and then highlighted them once i bought them i'll probably put another one of these next year it was nice to be able to keep up with books that were coming out then we have my 23 books in 2023 i didn't read very many of them. Like I started this one, I never finished it. Um, I've read one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I read 10 of them. So that's a letdown. I'm debating whether or not I want to do a 24 books in 2024 or not. Um, I think choosing all of these at the beginning of the year because there were books that I wanted to previously read. I just ended up never getting to half of them. Like I also started this one, never finished it. Um, so we'll see. I don't know if I'm going to keep the spread next year or not. Then we have my 12 classics, which I did not read any of them. I put the name on the spine and then it was supposed to get colored if I, when I read it. Um, I will probably read this one, but like none of these, like I got halfway through this. If you watch my 2024 goals, I'm going to, I talk about lowering my expectations on classics, but I do still want to read classics. Um, and then we have our book club reads. We never chose a book for December, so I think we're just going to skip this month. So I'm just going to leave this blank. Um, but for January, we did Juniper and Thorn. February was If We Were Villains. This was a reread for me, so I put it there. And I actually didn't reread it. Um, March was Daughter of No Worlds. April was The Fine Print, and I put the star ratings under. Then Hidden Pictures, The Housemaid, Foxglove King, I put skipped because I read one chapter and then didn't finish it. Mistborn. The only one left, I also skipped the thicket because I was just too busy. And then Iron Flame for November, but we'll see. I probably will not make a spread like this next year because I really didn't need it. <laughs> then we have my challenges. So the alphabet challenge, I still don't have anything for E, G, N, P, Q, V, X, and Z. I don't know if I'm going to do this again next year like it was fun, but... I feel like I'm gonna have the same results. And then my bingo, I'm not gonna turn it, but I did actually do quite a few of these. Um, but I also don't know if I'm going to do a bingo card. I'm still gonna have prompts like this. I just don't know if it's gonna be in a bingo card. As you all know, my bingo is messed up anyways because it's four instead of five rows. Um, we're gonna see. I'm gonna definitely do challenges in my next one. I just don't know which ones I'm going to do yet. Then we have backlist series and arcs. I am keeping these, but changing them for my next reading journal. Colleen Hoover, I put this before I kind of decided that I didn't care to read any more of her books. So that will be gone. Uh, v Schwab, I just still haven't read any of them. And then Rick Riordan, I also did not get around to. I did start my Cassandra Clare reread. So I reread all the ones that were before this and then I actually need to highlight this one because I did read Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. So that's two on there. Um, this I want to change and make it a little bit better. Um, give it more room for a series tracker because I have a lot of unfinished series going on right now. So I definitely want to expand this in my next one. And then I had a list of arcs. Um, I didn't really request arcs this year. So I do not know if I will keep this or not. Then we have my 2023 book bracket. I'm definitely going to probably have this in my bullet journal next year. Um, I still have to finish December, obviously, to do that. And then I'll put a picture of the book here. But this has been nice to say. Like, this is my favorite book of the month. And then kind of narrow them down. 
And then we have my monthly spread. So the first one just went with the normal theme of the journal. Um, I have my TBR and my title page and then my stats page. Um, I also did some of these. I'm not going to show you all of these pages because towards the end they get really, really ugly because I just stopped journaling as much until like literally right before the year was going to end. Um, so this is the January spread. Um, I did stamps. All of these stickers are from a, a pack from Amazon. I actually really love it. I'm trying to decide if I, I still have a ton if I want to use them next year. I don't know what my theme overall for the journal is going to be next year. Um, I also had this individual um, spread that I did for Akatar. I've decided that next year for my spreads, I'm not going to do one for every book, just my favorites, and they're going to be these like bigger spreads for my favorites. We'll see. I don't know. I'm changing it up a lot next year. Um, and then this was the February theme, trying to go with kind of a Valentine's. I really don't like this spread, but this is what it looks like. And then again, stats pages. When I was still doing the pie charts, I ended up stopping the pie charts because I ended up hating them, honestly. Um, and again, just some random spreads. March, I thought this was kind of cute. It didn't have as much color as I feel like it needed, but this one was Polaroids and like cafe things like croissant, um, lattes, things like that. Still doing the pie chart. My highlighter ran out of ink here. So again, monthly stats is almost the same every month. And then I did a much more chill version of this. Then we have April. I love this one. This was honey and bee themed. I was obsessed with how this one turned out. Stats page, same as always. I tried to do a line graph and I hated it. I, don't, I ended up doing it again and I don't know why. This was the month that I really was journaling a lot and I was doing these drawings for each of my spreads, which I thought was cute. And then here's just a blank page where I thought I was gonna read more that month and then I didn't. May, we have like kind of a stationary like paint um, spread. And then just a really basic stats page. And then I still was doing the drawings here as well but this is when i realized it was too hard to pick out drawings for everything june this was like a fantasy book kind of vibe um very very basic stats page just when i was getting like kind of like over the excessive drawing and things like that um and then this is literally all i have for <laughs> my spreads um, I feel like I read more than this this month. I just never wrote any of them in and I just skipped to July. This one I think is cute. Again, not very colorful. This one's like a cozy cottage vibe. Um, and then this was the stats page. I never finished filling any of this out really. Um, I never put my favorite. Yeah, I got really bad at the end of the year where I'm just so busy that I didn't have time to do anything, but I really liked the use of this post-it note. I think that was cute. Um, oh wow, I did actually keep up with this one. This is the last month that I put book pictures, but see, this is where I dropped off and I just kind of quit. And then after this, they're literally just like scribble scrabble. <laughs> um, August, I, again, I didn't really like this. It was a fantasy magical vibe, but it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. Again, my stats page, uh, kind of a mess. Um, at this point, I literally just kind of gave up. As you can see, I just did boxes this time and very few information on each of the books I read. Then we have September. I thought this was so cute. They're like little frames with like mushrooms and pumpkins and stuff. And then for these, September and um, October, I did a fall TBR. Um, so I took all the ones I didn't check off on this one and put it in the next month. The next month is probably the worst one, but I also never put my favorite here because I wanted to paste a book, but I have run out of um, sticky tape, so I can't put, put anything else in right now. Um, so this is what it was looking like. I liked the picture frames out that they were cute. But this, again, this was just scribble, literally just scribble of the books I read. <laughs> so not looking too cute. 
this had a lot of potential and then I lost my giant eraser so like this first two pages were cute and then this has a lot of pencil marks and it's not looking the best because I lost my eraser but I was going with like a pink cow spooky ghost theme and then this is just ugly <laughs> I just was like I think I did these all in one go and I just was over it and so I just threw them on there this one was really cute even though it was like a backlog I had already finished November by the time I came back to do this but it was disco balls I really liked this one if I had had more time with this I think that it would have been a lot cuter um I have a very scribble scrabble stats page here and then this is the scribble scrabble <laughs> we went from these <laughs> to this because I had already read and I just didn't care. I just threw them in there. <laughs> and then I am actually actively using this spread currently. This is my December spread. I did like holly and candy canes. Um, and then this is what my stats page looks like. Um, I have my book miss videos, other videos. I've been messing around constantly with what my stats pages have and the layout of them. And I think that this one is pretty good. Um, and then I'm again, I went back to just highlighter much more neat than last month you know <laughs> but still really plain so i've read three books this month i'm on my fourth so i've been filling this out as i go um and this is how much of my journal i have left i use swatches on the back and then this is my 2024 reading journal plans back here but for the most part i used a good chunk of the journal next year i am going to switch to a square um, I've always wanted a square journal for my reading journal and I think that that will be fun to play with. So that is how my 2023 reading journal turned out. It definitely went downhill throughout the year, but I think if I change the way I'm doing things, it will be a lot better next year and I'll use it more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.